Welcome everybody to the Religious Studies presentation for Year 9 Options. Religious Studies is a core subject and is studied alongside English, Maths and Science. Religious Studies is an exciting subject because it explores what it is to be a human being. It looks at religious ideas, what, it, what people believe and why they believe and how they affect their behaviour. There's a lot of benefits for studying religious studies, as you can actually read for yourself. But the idea is to be able to be critical thinkers, to be able to explore ideas and to challenge those ideas. And uh, it leaves a lot of sub uh, jobs, including law, journalism, social work, charity work and things. So it isn't just about actually having a, having a religious belief, it's actually be able to analyse these beliefs and to uh, question and challenge these beliefs and to put forward an argument. And we hope to develop those over the three years. As part of the course, just so you are aware, for a lot of students this will be a benefit, there is no coursework. Part of this, there's a lot of key skills that develop, including, like I said, arguing and be able to recalling ideas and be able to justify those arguments. So, as you can see, we will be trying to develop these over the three years. All our students have started the course in year nine, um, and they have already done really had a very successful first term. We are really pleased with the way the students have actually approached the studies, with their positive thinking, their maturity, and their thoughtful attitude, and have most of them engaged with the course very, very well this year. In year nine, they study Christianity, and I'll go through the details of that in a little bit more detail. In year ten, they study Hinduism and uh, the unit on human relationship. And finally, in year eleven, they explore the other philosophy and ethics units. In year ten, eleven, there is two choices about how they go and explore this, and this is important for their options. Some can choose the accelerated pathway, which means that they will study science in a lot of detail and then to cover religious studies in three lessons a fortnight. And this, uh, these students need to, be to uh, develop skills very, very quickly and be able to actually employ them as they have one less lesson a fortnight. Um, you can also take the dual science approach, which gives them four lessons a fortnight and gives us a, uh, an extra lesson a week, a uh, fortnight, I mean, to develop uh, the evaluation and arguing skills. Paper 1 is all on Christianity, it's an hour long, it's worth 60 marks and it's worth 25% of the GCSE and it uh, has a structure of five question, of questions per section and it's worth 3 marks, 3 marks, 3 marks, 6 marks and 15 marks and that's the same also for the Hinduism paper which is also an hour long and has exactly the same exam structure. Each paper is worth 25% and then makes up half the actual course. These papers are taken on the same day, normally at the end of May or beginning of June, and therefore they will have a two-hour paper on the Christianity and Hinduism. And you can see all of the uh, areas that we study over those two religions in a lot more detail. The other paper is a two-hour paper and it looks at the issues of philosophy and ethics and this is the one that students really really find interesting. Uh, it has four sections to it, there's three th uh, themes. First theme is the issue of relationship, relationships and they look at family life, marriage, same-sex marriage, cohabitation, celibacy, contraception, divorce and the issues of equality and discrimination and we focus on the issues of gender and racism. Theme two is about the existence of God and there is whether or not God actually exists and the arguments in favour of God and the arguments against God and we use a huge amount of arguments from against God from the scientific community looking at evolution, the Big Bang and the idea of evidence and students really engage with this and be able to enjoy the arguments for and against these. The 
third theme is about peace and conflict, an extremely modern course, which looks at actually things like nuclear war and especially terrorism. Uh, also the idea of whether or not you actually forgive someone that you've been at war with. And uh, you look at really, really modern examples and look at especially things like 9-11 and July this and uh, students really, really engage in the, uh, with these topics and argue a lot. The final unit looks at the challenge. The final unit looks at the challenge of um, current modern thinking and what modern life and our society and how that actually affects religion and whether or not you can be religious in the 21st century. And we look at the challenges of homosexual marriage, uh, abortion, euthanasia, fertility treatment, genetic engineering, and the fact we're now a cultural society and the rise of atheism and agnosticism and the, how that affects religion. And that brings the course up to uh, the 21st century, and we hope the students refine this exciting and interesting.